Did you know that your heart beats over 100,000 times a day, pumping around 2,000 gallons of blood through your body? It's a marvel of biological engineering, a ceaseless powerhouse that keeps you alive every second of every day. Welcome to our deep dive into the incredible anatomy of the heart and the great vessels. If you've ever wondered how this amazing organ works, you're in the right place. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Let's jump right in. First, let's get an overview of the heart. Picture this. Nestled in your chest, between the lungs, and slightly to the left, lies your heart. This muscular organ is roughly the size of your fist and weighs about 10 ounces. Yet despite its small size, it plays a colossal role in your survival. The heart is divided into four chambers, each with its own crucial function. The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the body through the superior and inferior vena cava. Then, the right ventricle pumps this blood to the lungs via the pulmonary artery. Here, the blood picks up oxygen and releases carbon dioxide. Meanwhile, the left atrium receives oxygen-rich blood from the lungs via the pulmonary veins. This oxygenated blood then moves into the left ventricle, which pumps it out to the entire body through the aorta, the largest artery in your body. Now, let's zoom in on the walls of the heart. They have three distinct layers. The innermost layer is the endocardium, which lines the chambers and valves. Next is the myocardium, the thick muscular middle layer responsible for the heart's pumping action. Finally, the epicardium, the outermost layer, also forms part of the heart's protective pericardium. To ensure blood flows in the right direction, the heart has four essential valves. Between the right atrium and right ventricle is the tricuspid valve. Between the right ventricle and pulmonary artery is the pulmonary valve. On the left side, we have the mitral valve between the left atrium and left ventricle and the aortic valve between the left ventricle and the aorta. Now let's explore the great vessels. These are the major arteries and veins connected to the heart. The aorta is the largest artery, distributing oxygenated blood from the left ventricle to the rest of the body. It has three parts, the ascending aorta, the aortic arch, and the descending aorta. The superior vena cava brings deoxygenated blood from the upper body to the right atrium, while the inferior vena cava does the same from the lower body. The pulmonary arteries carry deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs, and the pulmonary veins return oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium. Let's trace the journey of blood through the heart. Deoxygenated blood enters the right atrium from the body via the superior and inferior vena cava. It then passes through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, which pumps it to the lungs through the pulmonary valve and pulmonary artery. In the lungs, blood releases carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen. This oxygenated blood returns to the left atrium via the pulmonary veins, then moves through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. Finally, the left ventricle pumps it through the aortic valve into the aorta, sending it throughout the body. The heart itself needs a dedicated blood supply to function effectively, known as the coronary circulation. The coronary arteries branch off from the aorta, wrapping around the heart and supplying it with oxygen-rich blood. The coronary veins collect deoxygenated blood from the heart muscle and return it to the right atrium. The heart's pumping action is controlled by its electrical system, which ensures a coordinated and rhythmic heartbeat. This system includes the sinoatrial, SSA node, atrioventricular, AV node, bundle of his, and Purkinje fibers. The SA node, located in the right atrium, acts as the heart's natural pacemaker, initiating each heartbeat. The electrical impulse travels from the SA node to the AV node, then down the bundle of his and through the Purkinje fibers, causing the ventricles to contract and pump blood. This electrical activity can be measured by an electrocardiogram, ECG, providing valuable information about heart health. Understanding the heart's anatomy also helps us recognize common heart conditions. For example, coronary artery disease occurs when the coronary arteries become narrowed or blocked, leading to reduced blood flow to the heart muscle. Symptoms can include chest pain, shortness of breath, and fatigue. Another common condition is heart failure, where the heart can't pump blood effectively. This can result from various causes, including coronary artery disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Symptoms include swelling in the legs, shortness of breath, and persistent coughing or wheezing. Atrial fibrillation is an irregular and often rapid heart rate that can increase the risk of stroke, heart failure, and other heart-related complications. It's caused by disorganized electrical signals in the atria, 
leading to poor blood flow and increased clotting risk. Maintaining heart health is crucial for a long and active life. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and avoiding smoking are key factors. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, like salmon and flax seeds, can help reduce the risk of heart disease. Additionally, managing stress through activities like yoga and meditation can positively impact heart health. Regular checkups with your healthcare provider can help detect heart problems early. Monitoring blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and blood sugar can provide critical insights into your heart's health. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. The heart is an extraordinary organ, tirelessly working to keep you alive and healthy. By understanding its anatomy and how it functions, we can appreciate the marvel of our own bodies and take steps to maintain our heart health. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the human body. Thanks for watching, and take care of your heart.